Hi, this is Scott West with Mungan Asphalt and Toyota Sign Up. Thanks so much for joining us. Now today I have the privilege of showing you guys the all new, completely redesigned 2014 Toyota Corolla. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the exterior, go over the interior features, as well as take you guys on a short test drive just to show you how well this vehicle handles on the open road. Now for 2014, the Corolla has been completely redesigned and there's a lot of changes on the car, not only visually, but also uh, when it comes down to some of the technology that's featured in the car, as well as the, uh, the powertrain options. This year, there's actually four different variants of the Corolla. You've got the uh, Corolla S that we have here today. That's still the top of the line model. You have the Corolla LE and the Corolla L, but new for 2014 is the addition of the Corolla LE Eco model. And that's the model that is uh, designed to give you the best fuel economy out of all the Corollas in the range. Now the car that we have today is extremely stylish and you'll see that uh, the Corolla S comes with these uh, special 17 inch rims um, as well as uh, quite angular styling which uh, you'll find across the other uh, Corollas as well. But uh, one of the big stories this year is the addition of the standard LED headlamps. That's the first time that LED headlamps has been added to any car in the compact segment. Now for 2014, all Toyota Corollas come equipped with a 1.8 liter inline four cylinder motor that's mated to your choice of three different transmission options. You can either equip your car uh, with the base four speed automatic in just the L trim. Um, you can also get a continuously variable transmission um, if you step up in the uh, trim level line. Now uh, there's also a six speed manual option available in the S. Now our S today comes equipped with the, uh, the CVT and uh, with this motor, uh, the car yields a uh, respectable 29 miles per gallon in the city, 37 on the highway with an EPA estimated fuel economy average of 32 miles per gallon. Now the interior of the 2014 Toyota Corolla is actually very nice. Uh, Toyota did an excellent job redesigning uh, the interior of this car. It almost reminds me of a smaller version of the Lexus ES actually, uh, without the wood of course. Um, but there's just a lot of room in here. Uh, the seats are very comfortable. Uh, the driving position um, is great. Um, if you uh, have the Corolla S like we do today, you also get a uh, power adjustable driver's seat. And uh, that's gonna help you uh, just obtain the, the best position possible, um, most comfortable position possible um, for uh, the road ahead. Now you also have um, some steering wheel controls here. I've got um, my Bluetooth phone here as well as uh, the audio controls here on the left. Uh, also get paddle shifters in the S model uh, when equipped with the CVT transmission. Now that's gonna give you seven, uh, seven manual speeds to select from. It's actually a really good system. Um, let's go ahead and check out the back. Now the back of the Toyota Corolla is actually very spacious. And um, actually that's one of the things that Toyota did when they redesigned the car was they stretched the wheelbase enough just to allow passengers almost uh, five or six inches worth of uh, extra leg room and it shows. I've got plenty of knee room here as well as plenty of headroom too. Now um, as far as cup holders, um, you've got four bottle holders. You've got one bottle holder in each of the four doors. Um, I've got two cup holders in the center, uh, center armrest as well as two more cup holders in the middle for a total of eight places to put a beverage. Um, that along with, the, uh, with all the room and uh, just the overall comfort here in the Corolla you're gonna have a really smooth ride ahead of you. All right, so the uh, new Corolla that we have today uh, does come equipped with the continuously variable transmission, which I do have in manual mode right now. Um, just rolling through the gears, third, fourth. The acceleration in the car is actually quite good. I didn't even really have to push it that much and um, it got up to speed rather quickly. Now what's interesting about this continuously variable transmission um, is, well of course this does have the, uh, the manual uh, shift mode if you get the Corolla S, which we have today. Um, the shifts are almost instantaneous and that's something that you don't always find with a lot of CVTs. Um, really no matter what you spend. Uh, most cars with the uh, CVT transmission, you either can't shift it, or if you can, the shift, there's a lot of shift lag. And um, there's hardly any of that here. Now in terms of ride quality, the uh, Toyota Corolla's suspension is actually, um, it's pretty good. Now, again, this is the S model, so this is probably gonna be the uh, 
quote unquote stiff as suspension. Now it's not really stiff at all. Um, this is soaking up the bumps quite nicely. And um, the handling in it on it, the handling on it is uh, not bad at all either. Now, um, as far as what goes into that ride quality, you have the uh, the larger wheels, um, which of course have the uh, the thinner profile tires on them. Um, in our in our test car today, now if you get like a Corolla L uh, with the standard wheels. Um, that's going to deliver a slightly different ride, might even be a little bit more comfortable. Um, not that I have any complaints about this car being comfortable at all. Um, this is actually quite comfortable. Um, something else that uh, you really like about the interior of the Corolla as you're driving is uh, there's really not a whole lot of wind noise. Um, and uh, that's really thanks in part to the uh, aerodynamic design. Uh, of the new Corolla. Now, um, everything is pretty quiet, and I do have to say, uh, for a stock stereo, this isn't bad at all. Um, now, of course, you have your AM and FM. Um, pretty sure you can get XM on this as well. Um, you also have your Bluetooth audio, uh, Bluetooth phone uh, capability here uh, on the steering wheel, and uh, it also comes with a uh, CD player. In terms of storage, again, the car has um, eight beverage holders, um, but you also have a, a really deep center armrest, and um, the armrest is padded in the same uh, leatherette material that you find here on the door inserts. And uh, I really think that the uh, that the chrome application here on the door handle pulls that's a really nice premium feature you don't always find in this segment. I know it's a little thing, but everything helps. So I'm going to go ahead and brake a little bit harder than I normally do. It's pretty consistent braking there. Let's see. So got some bumps right here and uh, Corolla is just soaking them right up. Um, you know, nothing, nothing rattles, so that would be really bad if it did. This is a brand new car, um, but uh, I'm not being jarred at all. And, uh, you know, it used to always be one of the, uh, the stigmas against smaller cars is that they didn't really deliver a very good ride. The ride quality in this new Corolla that we have today is exceptional. And um, I do invite you down to our dealership. Uh, we are in uh, Alton, Illinois, 850 Homer Adams Parkway. Um, come check us out and uh, take a test drive of the Corolla yourself. Um, if you like the review video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you would. And um, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. I'm Scott West. Thanks for watching.